you talked a little bit about working, having to work more in a volunteer role to, to you were able to build out. What advice can you give to someone, um, especially young people, about negotiating salary or the value of their services and their career choice? And the reason I asked this question, uh, I had a colleague who I used to work with and they were like, well, you know, when all of African-American people will come and they wouldn't negotiate salary year to year, but other groups, other backgrounds mm -hmm. and stuff like that, like they would negotiate every year. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so what, what encouragement can you give to the next generation about negotiation? I think you gotta know your value. Okay. And you have to believe in what you're selling. You know what I mean? Or uh, not even what you're selling, but what you have to offer. You know, and it has to to make sense, man. It has to make sense. Um, because a lot of us, you know, we want everything, but we haven't put in anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You haven't put in the work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The blood, sweat, and tears for this. You know what I'm saying? Your resume doesn't match... Um, your ambition, mm, you know what I'm saying? You have to know that, like, you know what I mean? You have to know what level you're on as far as your product. Mm -hmm. I mean, what you're selling, mm -hmm. I mean, or what you're offering. For sure. And then once you build your your resume up, you know what I mean? In whatever discipline you're in, mm -hmm. then that creates opportunities for you to negotiate. Mm -hmm. But uh, But if, you come to me with all these demands, and I look at your your resume or your or your portfolio, mm -hmm. and you haven't put any work in. There is no negotiation. You going by my price only. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then mm -hmm. you take what I give you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if you come to me, one thing, one thing is for sure, man. Two things is for certain. People are fine talent. Mm -hmm. You don't have to look for it. Like you know what I mean? They'll come find you mm -hmm. when. When you're good and when you have been networking mm -hmm. is paramount to anybody's success. For sure. You know, bec you know, becoming uncomfortable mm -hmm. uh, because that would open up doors and that would open up some pockets. Mm -hmm. um, that would, that will, that by itself will will provide some hires that you never would have imagined. For sure. I mean, like I told you, you know, I didn't have a resume when I finished my my master's program, but I was in a master's level. I completed it and couldn't find a job for, man, for almost six months. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I called my guy, man, Dr. David Staten. He, I thought I had a job already, yeah. you know, because I knew so many people. Right. He said, okay, give me a week. You call a guy. I never forget, man. This this lady named Doctor Walters. She come with a real sweet man, northern voice. She say, you know, she was like, "Your name is Tucker." And I was like, "Yes, ma'am." We need you to come up here to DC to talk to us. I was like, "Yo, <laughs> I'll be there tomorrow." <laughs> like I gassed up my Cadillac, man. But I was on ninety five, like within a minute. Yeah. I was, I was gone. Yes, sir. And that was a blessing, but, you know, but I had did my internships. Yeah. You know, I did my practicum. Right, had a resume. Now, yeah, I mean, my, my, you, know, you know, resume was dead. You know, I was a, a what, the doggone district manager for Walgreens right there. Wow. For two years. Wow. Really two and a half years. Me. Worked at both of them. Yeah. The one right there and the one down, um. That was that street. Uh, uh, you talking? No, it's two Walgreens in here. Though. The one by Hardy's. Yeah, yep. one by Hardy's. Yep, yep. I worked at both of them. Okay. I managed both of them. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. My my resume was there. Yeah. But okay. I but I but you know, sometimes it's about who you know. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So put in put in the work and network, man. Mm -hmm. Networking. You're only as good as the people that's going. On. To speak on your behalf as far as your work ethic and your work. And that's why I, you know, I tell my my young men this all the time. Like when you start getting to an age to where you start to go on trips a lot, mm -hmm. and you 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 start looking up the hotels and stuff like that. The first thing that we start to do nowadays at my age, 
we looking at the dog on reviews. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Okay. No, that's real. That's real. So I, I'm gonna see what everybody else saying about you. No, that's real. You know what I'm saying? True. Before I spend my money. That's real. Jobs are the same way. Yeah. They gonna look at your dog on reviews. Like, yeah. yo, you you have you, you you work with this cat before? You have? What what what? One to five. What is it? That's real. Right. That's real. And that's why your character on social media for sure matters mm -hmm. because I because I. You come to me, right? Looking for a job because this this has happened, and you give me your full, you know, your full government name. Mm -hmm. Guess where I'm going? Social media. Straight to social media. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm goodness. going straight to ah, social that's media. That's real. Huh? That's real. I'm yeah, right. I see what you say right here. Mm -hmm. I want to see what you say right here. That's what it is. Huh? That you want it? Because that's my money going in you. That's it. That, that's my investment. That's real. You ain't messing up my, my investment because you're my hire. That's real. Now, we all got bosses. Yes. That means that I have bosses. Mm -hmm. I have the answer to them. That's right. So you're not about to mess my money up. No, right? You just said you said a word. Okay. You said a whole word. I'm it. telling you, man. So <laughs> you, you, got, you got to watch what you do on social media. Yeah. You know I mean, get your platform right, man. But get, make sure that you connect with the right people, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, appreciate you saying that.